Hey friends, welcome to a new video of tech harvesting. In today's video, we will be discussing about how we can change our fonts with CSS. So right now we had been making our website look better. So we just changed the background color and the color in the last video. And in this one, we're going to change the fonts and the font sizes and pretty much mess up with the fonts. So, um, We'll be using the service called Google Fonts, so it's a service by Google which helps us to get a lot of different fonts in our website. And this is the default font that comes when we are not applying any new fonts, so the default font for your browser. So uh, let's change that right now. If you go into fonts.google.com, and uh, I'll have a link to the description, you'll find all these styles in here which are different different fonts. So there's Roboto, Benny, and all these awesome fonts. So um, for this project, um, I'll be using a font called Ubuntu, which we can find by searching here. Other popular choices are Poppins, Oops, Poppins, or um, Montserrat, and there are a lot of others also. So I'll be using Ubuntu. You can just click on the font. And when you come to this page, it shows us the different styles available for our font. So there's the light 300 style, light 300 italic, different styles. So for now, I'm going to use the regular 400 style. So once you choose which style you want, you're going to click on the select this style button. It's going to show you all these options. It says this was that. And you show, they show you the style in here. So right here, you're going to click on add import and not the link. You could use the link but we'll be using add import in this case. And you're going to copy this and come back and at the very top of our CSS file let's just paste that in. So this is a link to uh, the Google font and it's going to fetch us back the Ubuntu font. So now what we want to do is we want to implement this font on our website so that this font which we see right here will be the same font that's used in here. So in order to do that, if you scroll down, you find this font Family Ubuntu Sans Serif. So we're just going to copy that, come back and paste that in here in our body selector. If you return now, you'll see that the font has changed. So we used the font family, um, the font family property to change the family of our font which was actually awesome. We could make our fonts look better. And fonts are also a very important part of making our website look better. So we just did that. You could of course do some other font also. But I'll just clear it up. And maybe a Roboto. And you could choose a version, maybe the regular 400 again. And now if you go here, you'll see that we have both of our fonts, Ubuntu and Roboto. And if you go to this Add Import and copy the new one and replace this one, so yeah, you'll see that there's both Roboto and Ubuntu. So both of the fonts are imported with this link. So we can still use Ubuntu and we could change that to Roboto. You see that? You saw the font. Of course, see it in here also the rules that you should use. So, this is the font family properties. It's actually very simple. It's the family of the font that's going to be used within the website or for the selector. So, now what if we want like the body to be Ubuntu? So, let's change that. And we want all the H1s to be Roboto. Then we would use the H1 selector to select all the H1 elements on our web page. And then we would go ahead and pass in the font family again. Font family. And this time we are going to give Roboto and we are going to give Sans dash serif. And if you don't know why we're giving the Sans dash serif, the things that sometimes maybe due to less bandwidth of the user, there, this fonts might not get loaded or there might be some issues loading the font. So we are giving a callback in here. So once we are not fi if you're not finding this font, go ahead and use the default sans serif font of the browser. And you can uh, change the sans serif font in your browser settings. You can change the sans serif, the serif font, all the different types of fonts. There's even monospace fonts. So now once we have done this, if you return, 
Um, you'll see that this is in the Roboto font, which is a H1, and this, the other fonts are, I mean, the other texts are in the Ubuntu font. So here also there's a Roboto font, since this is also an H1. That's how we can change the font. Now let's have a look at changing the font size. So maybe we want all the um, H1 fonts to be much bigger than they are. So we can do a um, font size. This is the next attribute that we'll be learning. I mean the property that we'll be learning. So the font size property helps us to change the size of the font, as it's already saying. So we can make it XX large, then it's gonna be the same because this is what XX large is. Maybe we we can um, specify some pixels, maybe 80 pixels, which is quite big. You can see 80 pixels. So maybe for this one, I can go 60 pixels. You can see that's big. But the problem is that even this gets big. So um, in the next video, actually, we will be having a look at making only this one big and not this one. Not all the H ones using classes and IDs, but that's later. So uh, that's what we did right here. We had changed the font of all our um, all our um, text. So we have the body having the Ubuntu font from Google Fonts, and our H1 is gonna have the Roboto font. Um, and uh, we should not actually specify uh, this in the asterisk selector. So we're gonna learn about that also. So there's the selector called the all selector. So this just selects everything. So if you want, we can just replace this with this. It's gonna be the same as you can see. Me, what's happening is that instead of just the body, it's just selecting everything on our web page if you use this asterisk. So, anyways, um, whenever we use fonts, we should not use this selector, we should use only the body selector. Or if we want it uh, to be like that only for a particular element or a particular class or ID, which we'll have a look at in the next video, then we can specify the font family inside the selector. So, actually that was it for this video, we had a discussion on how we can change the fonts on our website, we changed the H1 font and we had um, changed the body font to Ubuntu. So, that was actually it for this video, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!